Yes, people, Bobby Wadsley here. What an absolute great game. Great game. Horrible start from Rangers. I don't care what anyone says. 21 seconds you concede at home to your biggest rivals. It's criminal. It's a nightmare. And it's actually, it was Rangers' reality. What annoys me about this goal is that kickoff has been taken. One long ball. One simple long ball. And where have we had this conversation before? Maida gives JT nightmares. Goal. Freak goal, yes. You know, nine times out of ten, does that happen? Probably not, but in this case it does. 1-0 to Celtic. Centre-backs are supposed to be dominant. Put your head on everything. Why does he put his hand up like that? Closes his eyes to go ahead of the ball. Who are you scared of impeding onto you physically? There's his fair. 2-0 at half time. You are honest to God thinking. I believe I tweeted, does anyone fancy a game of Scrabble or a game of cards? Um, you defend like that, you will get punished. Now... You have to applaud the mentality of Philip Clement changing the mentality of these players. That's no problem. I don't think that's the the worry. I think the worry is because it's the same players making the same mistakes, and that is the worry. You know, I've said this before. When you play for Rangers, you can beat the rest of them. If you do not perform and beat Celtic when it matters, that's the problem. That's what fans will not accept. Fair play to Clement. He brings on Seema. The guy um, obviously makes a massive impact straight away. Penalty to Rangers. Three words that everyone goes on about, blah, 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 SFA, blah. Fabio Silva. I'm not really going to talk much on Fabio Silva because I believe that there's not enough time to talk on Fabio Silva with his performance today. Going down, falling down, you know, people say Moldy's or Stars, whatever. This guy, for, for what it's worth, he wins the penalty. We'll leave it at that. You know, um, let's call a spade a spade. A penalty is a penalty, a foul is a foul. People say Rangers always get penalties. What I say to you is this. What does the opposition keep fouling Rangers players in their own box? What is the rules? If you foul the opposition in your own box, it is a penalty. Whether it's a soft or a hard, whatever, I don't care. Like, Let's get over this little debate and argument. Stop fouling. But yet again, from that group of players, James Tavernier is the only person you can see some light coming out of. Penalty is exceptional. 2-2, obviously. Seema gets the goal, and in, in some fashion as well, the finish is exquisite. You take the deflection, you don't care. Now, this is the window where we think Rangers go and win the game. Simple, go and win the game, or defend. The old cliche, you're, as weak, you're at your worst or you're at your weakest when you concede. Nah, I'm not having that. Because when you score a goal, the momentum, surely the focus, you know, we've seen players go like that, focus, focus, focus. What is going on? Fair play to, I believe it's Ida. He shifts the ball right, gets his shot off. You can say Butlin could do better. Did Butlin expect an early shot? It doesn't and Man like Rabi Matondo. I remember watching Matondo down in Blackpool a couple of seasons ago. And I thought to myself, God, this, this could be an absolute player. Like, this is a gem. I can't believe it. So pace, so tricky and so on. And to be fair, we can all agree that we haven't seen it consistently. And when you play for Rangers, um, me, yes, the Peace Watchman said that um, you have to win every game and you have to perform and you have to put Rangers first. Has he done that for his career? The conversation is there. Listen, Kevin De Bruyne does that, Ronaldo does that, Messi does that. Twitter, social media goes into a meltdown. Give this guy his flowers. He's came on the pitch. He's tried, he's tried. He's cutting, he's put it top bins. Posted stamp. I'm sorry. It's over. And then obviously you think to yourself, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you're, you're in a euphoria. What, what's going on? 2 down at half time and it's 3-3. Free free. <laughs> in my head I'm thinking, just don't lose. <laughs> don't lose. Just take that. And then um, referee, the referee blows his whistle. And then I'm thinking to myself, Cantwell, why are you pushing McGregor now? Why are you pushing this? I come from a place called West Hills, right? If you're going to do something, you do something. You know, all this pushing and blah, blah, blah. If you're going to hit him, hit him. Literally. If you're not, just go away. And that rage and physicality should be done in the game. Impede your advantage onto your position. If you need to kick someone and impede a physicality strength from them, do it. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? Anything to get gain an advantage to beat your opposition. I'm all for it. Listen, at the end of the day, you win, you get three points. You lose, you get nothing. You draw, you get one. 
You do what you can to get those three points. Simple as that. Guys, like, share and follow. Who's your man of the match? What was your reaction at half time? Do we go and buy a, a dominating centre back? And do we need not just one striker but two strikers come the summer? Please like and follow. Drop a comment below.